Hi, it's uh, Joe back here. It's great to have you all back. So, um, just wanted to continue on some of the video series I've done. Uh, so, one thing I wanted to just kind of highlight before we get into the code is just uh, I'm building out this video series. So, bear with me if things are changing slightly here and there. But if you're on Twitter, you can catch me there. It's uh, Data Analytics I one is the twitter handle so today we're going to be talking about joining lists um now i suppose credit two lists here at the top this one as you can see and this two if you're a uh, only fools and horses fan uh, which is a famous show from the uk you'll know you notice some of the names i'm using here del boy and rodney two brothers very famous show i'd recommend if you ever get a chance to see it have a look at it. it's very funny um, so, what we're going to try and do today is just explain in very simplistic terms how to join lists. There's obviously a lot more you can do with this. I've created a couple of different scenarios for people to have a look at and they can use to get their head around it. So, in the first scenario, we're literally going to use Adnum, an addition, as you can see there. Um, in the second scenario, Basically, we're going to use the, the method called extend, where you add it to the list. Um, and then, obviously, in the third scenario, we're going to do an append. I'll show you some of the outputs of this at the bottom. I've um, done them, and there's a couple of things I want to go through as well. And then, you, if you want to merge, um, you basically you can do it this way, but you can use a for statement. But in the for statement, you can just basically use the append. Um, and finally, one thing you might want to do in a list is to check if one value is in another list, and if it's not, then just depend it. So below is the output. I'll just run this for you. So there is the output. So very straightforward. Um, list one is Joe Dell and Rodney blogs boy and Trotter is added at the end. So as you can see, it's very straightforward there. That's with the addition. Uh, with the extend, it gives you back the exact same results. Now, with the merging um, here, where we use the append function, it actually adds on list two as a new list. So, just something to be wary of when you're using append or you're using extend that you have a list, and this is what they'd call a list within a list now. Okay, and then when you move forward, um, one thing we want to check is um, basically if one value is in another, one value is in, in one list is in another. So I've created some new lists, kind of the, something I wanted to go through with people. Created a new list here, and essentially, there's the same values. Um, I've added in Peckham, which is where the, the Trotter brothers lived, and created list three and list four. So one of the things what you wanted to do is you're mer merging lists or amalgamating lists together is you don't want to be duplicating stuff. So essentially what you want to basically say, if one, one value in one list is in another value, don't bring it in. Now, so what I've done is created a for statement, and X here represents any of these values here in this tree okay and what you're basically saying for if any of these values here are not in here append them to the actual list four okay so in this scenario as you can see there is joe here is in list three but it's also in list four so in this scenario it won't um, bring it in but something I wanted to highlight to you is if I change, it's case sensitive disk logic, by the way. So if I change this from a small j to a capital J, rerun it. Now, what you have in the new list is you have all the original values. So you have blogs, Joe, Trotter, and Peckham. But now it recognizes Joe, but because Joe does not equal this Joe, because this is a capital J, it brings it in. So something to be conscious that when you're using this logic um, that it is case sensitive um, so that it won't uh, it won't recognize the fact even though they're exactly the same name or the same data piece item it will bring it in 
I hope you've enjoyed this quick tutorial on lists and how to add merge and doing a bit of uh, logic checking as well. Um, remember, get on, follow us on Data Analytics. We'll be posting over the next while on that. And remember to subscribe to our channel if you can. It'd be greatly appreciated. Looking forward to chatting to people and learning what people are doing. And if people have anything they'd like to uh, me to look at, I'd happily look into it. I have plenty more videos to come, so this is not the last one. And thanks again. Take care. Bye.